What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back to a new camera comparison video. Today we have the Huawei Mate 20 Pro and the brand new Samsung Galaxy S10 and these two devices have very similar camera systems on the back. We have a main lens, then we have an ultra wide lens and then a zoom lens. So that's why I figured this is gonna be a great comparison. Now if you watch Samsung's presentation for the S10, they talked a lot about that ultra wide lens that we have on the back of this device. So of course I'm going to show you some pictures that I took um, with the ultra wide uh, lenses as well. Aside from that we are going to check out some pictures taken with the main cameras, I'm going to show you some portrait mode pictures, after that we are going to move on and check out some nighttime pictures, after those um, we are going to check out some sample videos, some 4K sample videos and then some 1080p sample videos and all the way um, at the end um, we are going to check out some selfies. Just in case you're wondering, all the pictures are taken on auto mode and I also had artificial intelligence mode turned on, so the way the phones come out um, from the factory. And uh, of course all the pictures are taken a second apart from each other. So we are starting with the pictures taking the ultra wide lenses. Well first of all I've noticed that um, the dynamic range for all the pictures taken by the S10 is better, so you can definitely see more detail um, in the shadows. Now if you're looking for the phone that takes closer um, pictures to reality, so the color accuracy to be better, well none of them does that good because that blue sky that you see in every single picture didn't look like that in reality. And the only picture that actually looked close to reality was that picture that I took um, from inside the car with the Huawei Mate 20 Pro. So you can see that the sky is actually bluish but grayish, not that um, blue as you've seen in all those pictures. So the pictures are great for social media but they are not um, anywhere close to reality. If you take pictures at night um, with the S10, well all the pictures turn out really bad and um, this one the Mate 20 Pro will do better with the wide angle lens in uh, low light. Moving on to the pictures taken by the main camera, so the trend kind of continues, the dynamic range seems to be better for pretty much every single picture taken by the S10 and then um, the pictures are also much sharper from um, the S10. Now the color accuracy isn't great for either device, so if you look at all those pictures some of them are uh, more saturated than others and um, in reality nothing looks that saturated, so neither device did that good for color accuracy. Moving on to portrait mode pictures, even though the edge detection is great from both devices, I feel that the, the pictures taken by the S10 look a bit more appealing. But definitely let me know in the comments down below um, which phone you prefer for daytime pictures. And I guess I'm gonna let you guys watch um, a few more pictures so you can make up your own mind. Moving on to pictures taken in low light, well for low light pictures I feel that the Mate 20 Pro absolutely destroys the Samsung Galaxy S10 and I feel that I was taking pictures with a phone that's a hundred bucks from China. So about 99% of the pictures that you are about to see taken by the Mate 20 Pro were definitely much much better. But definitely let me know in the comments down below if you prefer the pictures taken by this one or by this one in low light. So let's check out those pictures.
Next, we have a couple of video samples that I took with both these devices. The first sample that you're about to see was recorded in 4K and then a 1080p one and then another 4K one. So for video recordings, I feel that the Samsung Galaxy S10 does better for pretty much everything. For um, image stabilization, it is absolutely amazing. Um, the color accuracy seems to be better. The sound seems to be better. So for video recordings, um, the S10 is definitely better. So let's check out those clips. All right, we have a quick video test between the Samsung Galaxy S10 and the Huawei Mate 20 Pro. So I'm currently recording in 4K 30 frames per second with both devices. But the Samsung Galaxy S10 can also record in 4K at 60 frames per second, something that the, the Mate 20 Pro cannot do. So under these conditions, so basically walking and with a bit of um, wind, this is how um, a recording from these two devices would look like. And we are moving on to another video test, but this time around I'm recording in 1080p, so the image stabilization should be a bit better for um, both devices. So I'm also going to try running so you can see how, um, how the devices handle running. So let's see how um, that works. So from what I'm seeing on the screen, the Mate 20 Pro is doing really good, but um, I'll have to see how the footage actually looks on the computer. So this is how um, a 1080p recording from these two devices would look like. And we have our last video test between the Samsung Galaxy S10 and of course um, the Huawei Mate 20 Pro. So once again I'm recording in 4K at 30 frames per second and at this resolution we have image stabilization um, for both devices. So under these conditions, so basically walking and a bit of wind, this is how um, a recording from these two devices um, would look like. And lastly for selfies, well none of them is that amazing, but um, I feel that if I would have to choose, I would choose the selfies taken by the Huawei Mate 20 Pro. But definitely let me know in the comments down below which phone you prefer for selfies. So let's check those out. So to quickly conclude this video, for daytime pictures and for videos I feel that the Samsung Galaxy S10 does better, but for nighttime pictures and for selfies I feel that the Huawei Mate 20 Pro does better. But of course this has a lot to do with your personal preference and that's just my personal preference. So definitely let me know in the comments down below if you prefer this phone or this phone, if the price wouldn't matter, which one would you choose? Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video, if you did like it press that like button, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.